Here with Tierney Dalton of the Southwest Valley Timberwolves after that four-set victory over Lennox. Uh, Tierney, pretty crazy game there. Uh, just talk about your, your thoughts on that one. Um, I think that this game was a good uh, roller coaster of events, and I think that it's good to have some of those games we can try and get ourselves out, uh, use each other to bring up uh, confidence and talk to each other just when we're down that bad just because it's such a team sport we got to use each other to bring each other up yeah absolutely uh, those first two sets you guys won the second set was absolutely dominant what was working for you that, for you in that second set you went on a crazy run at the service line uh, 25 day just talk about that one um, I just think our energy was so much better in that second set I think that when we have the confidence and when we're talking to each other when we're working together um, we play a lot better um, as if like if we're expecting a win or expecting to push hard, um, it doesn't come as easy. We still have to work for it. Those third and fourth sets were really close. Lennox won that third one, 22-20, 25-22. And then the fourth set was an absolute marathon, a 30 to 28, it just back and forth. Yeah. You guys were able to mount a pretty good comeback in that one. Just talk about those third and fourth sets and how you guys were able to close it out. Um, I think that third set was definitely a uh, a roller coaster and I think whenever we decided you know we got to work together talk to each other get our energy up is kind of we already kind of dug ourselves a hole in that one um, but towards the end of it we kind of lifted each other up started to get going uh, carried it out through the four set towards the end when it was back and forth back and forth I think that we just all really wanted it um, we were willing to do anything for that ball and I think that's what we need to carry on throughout every set and every game yeah, absolutely. Uh, talk about your performance in particular the, on that front line. It felt like you and Sadie Cox were just going back and forth all night. You had some really nice blocks, some really nice kills. What's the chemistry like on the front line for you guys, and how how did you think your performance was? Um, I think that it was definitely a, a big competition, um, trying to hit around her, trying to read where she's cutting the ball um, to get that block in there. I think my team and Coach Sparks especially have helped me you know, they're telling me cut left here, cut right here. I had our setter, Ryan, was telling me um, after she said the ball, she's like, if you need help, like, tell him where to go with that. I can help you out, you know, to see what's open um, when I can't necessarily see it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, now that you guys have won this, you're, you're in sole possession of first place in the Pride of Iowa Conference. One, how does that feel? And two, how do you guys keep building on that? Um, I think it's a really big accomplishment. I mean, every game, you know, we're looking forward to it. We all really want um, to win and keep carrying out as a team. Um, I think from here on, we um, really just need to keep going for every single ball, not going through the roller coaster of games or taking it to five sets and really just keeping with it and going after that ball all the time. All right, Tierney, thank you and congratulations. Here with head coach Lisa Sparks of the Southwest Valley Volleyball team. Coach, pretty crazy game there. Four set win over Lennox. Just talk about that one. Um, you know, they are a scrappy team. They're a very well put together team. They have some really good hitters in the front row. Uh, so for us to be able to come out with a win, especially a conference win on our half, is really good. Yeah, a big conference win there. Uh, you guys dominated the, the second set. The first set was back and forth, but you're able to get the win. What was working in those first two sets? Uh, I would say our hitting, our serving was really good in that second set. Our serve efficiency, I, we ended up with quite a few aces on the night and still served 88 as a team. You know, you'd like to see it a little higher, but to be that aggressive at the serving line is always good. Uh, we, we talked last week about the third and fourth sets kind of being the nemesis for you guys. It was kind of the same thing again tonight, but you were able to close out that fourth set. So just walk me through those third and fourth sets. Uh, first, the third set, kind of what went wrong, and then that fourth set was just an absolute marathon. Yeah, that fourth set was nuts. Uh, the third set, though, we came in, I think, just a little comfortable. You know, I challenged the girls just to stay on it and finish this so we can end in three. Um, but, you know, it, roller coaster and emotions happen. So coming in that fourth set and being able to have that grit all the way to the end, you know, that's, that's a tight game towards the end. Yeah, how do you keep your team focused in a set like that? It ended 30-28, just, just like I said, a marathon. You know, when it comes down to those kind of types of games, you know, to finish off that tight, uh, they're very focused then, and, you know, you'd like to see that consistent throughout, though. Yeah, absolutely. Talk about your front line tonight, specifically Tierney Dalton. He, she and Sadie Cox were kind of just going back and forth all night, so talk about her performance. Uh, Tierney's always up there swinging well. She's looking for those zones to hit around the block. We're working on that. 
Um, Tierney always produces every night, but I think we had four girls. I think we had two girls with six, someone with ten, someone with twelve in the night. So to have those kind of kill numbers at the end of the night is awesome. Absolutely. You guys are now eight, uh, nine and four on the season. You're in sole possession of first place in the Pride of Iowa Conference. Talk about how that feels and how you guys are going to build on that. You know, coming out, our goal is to get there in the top conference. So coming out 2-0 and oh right now is huge against Lennox. You know, they, they are a tough competitor on our half. Um, you know, just keep pushing. Absolutely. Uh, thank you and congrats. Thank you.